Oh, good afternoon, George. Hi, right, Tony. Well, my instructor who's gone off sick today, and he said you fill in for him. Okay. Because you've got the same car. <clears throat> yeah. He said we were going to look at my use of mirrors today, <clears throat> mm. and we were going to do this emergency stop, which I'm really, really nervous and excited about. Okay. In a funny way. Yeah. Um. Just to come out of roll for a second. This is the third time now we've done this in the last seven days. Yep. Yeah, so what I'm looking at today is for you to get that detail in on the mirrors, the consequences. So I, I, I really want you to try and get me independent on these mirrors now before we get to the area to carry out the emergency <coughs> stuff, yeah? Okay. And then once we start, um, I really want you to try and nail this brief, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I know we've had a chat about it off camera, and I, I know you've had a look at the videos the weekend. Mm. So, you know, uh, I'd really like you to try and get the brief down to about seven minutes if you can, yeah? Because it has yeah. it has run into 11 minutes with certain details still missing, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, if we go from there, yeah? <coughs> How many lessons have you had in all? Ah, oh, about, about um, half a dozen or so. <coughs> okay. <coughs> right, Tony, good to see you. Hi, John. <coughs> I'll do your lesson today. Okay, right. On the use of practical use of mirrors, and also emergency stop. Yep. yep. Yeah. So have you have you have you actually set up the mirrors before? George, we've been here. Be we've been here before, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. I know. <coughs> Alex. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's just wind. Let's just wind it back a bit. Because we have to be careful about these questions that you're going that you're going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Because they'll. They'll sit here all day and answer your questions, yeah? But you're not learning anything from them. What would I have learned on a control session? Uh, about the mirrors. You well, Not a lot, but... No, um, no. Uh, Give me detail. What would I have learned <coughs> on a control session? Um, where the mirrors are and what sort of glass they've got. <coughs> what was um, the question you just asked me just a few seconds ago, just before we were just about... To, before I um, came out Have you about? learned to set up the mirrors? Right. Uh. So what would I have learned on the control session? How to set up the mirrors. Right. Yeah? <clears throat> so was that a good question to start off with? Because if this was for real, I would play along with you, yeah? Yeah. Was that a good question? Mm. Not to start with, no. No. Not even to end with. <clears throat> right, okay. so... Tony, <laughs> to start again. Right. Tony, I, I believe that you set up the mirrors before. George. Do you know? George, come on. So I'll teach you about the practical use of mirrors today. <clears throat> um, what I'd like to do is just to um, discuss with you what you'll find on, on the drive to the site where we'll practice um, our emergency stop. Um, the, the mirrors on, on the side, we, we, um, we always check in pairs, the two mirrors. We check mirrors in pairs. Well, why don't you check my knowledge? I have used them before, haven't I? Yes, you have. So, um, Tony, what, uh, what, how have you used the mirrors previously? What, uh, what have you, how have you used mirrors? Um, how do you use the mirrors? <laughs> right. What kind of glass is in that interior mirror? Okay. What kind of glass is in that interior mirror, Tony? <laughs> no, no, I'm losing the will to live here, George. Right. I think I've forgotten. Uh, it's, <coughs> flat, it's, it's flat glass, but it gives me a true picture, I remember that. Okay, yeah. right. And, and the door mirrors? No, uh, it's curvy, convexy glass, isn't it? <laughs> yes, and, and what's the difference between the images? Are they flat glass and the convex glass? That's a true picture. Yes. Um, that's not a true picture. <coughs> yeah. That that's makes right. everything look... Um, <laughs> Look closer, but it's actually further away. That's right. Okay. Is it? Uh, that's, um, if you're going to qu ask a question, listen to the answer, yeah? Yes, yes. I said, it makes everything look closer, but it's actually further away. <clears throat> that's just the opposite, Tony. All right. It's, um, it's a small image, but it's actually nearer than you think. Right. All right, so it's important to know that, because uh, you make judgments on what you can see in the mirror. And if, uh, if something's nearer than you think, you'll make an awful judgment. Okay. You're going to be very careful. <coughs> so, on the way there, I'll teach you how to use the mirrors. Okay, so would you like to set up the car? All right. As, uh, as usual. <coughs> okay. 
Now, when you set up the mirrors, you need to be you need to be in a driving position. So you get your shoulders back on the seat. All right. Don't worry. Now, it's important to do that. Otherwise, when you use the mirrors while we're driving, right, yeah, you'll be yeah, yeah. leaning over the same way. No, he sits it back there. All it's right, important that right. you do that. All right. Okay, let's set now, Link. Okay, so what is in the centre mirror? What can you see oh, in the centre Oh, I can see mirror? the top and bottom of the back window. I can see the edge of my head, restraint, the edge of yours. Okay, and the door mirrors? Oh, I can see two finger widths, a bit mm. of sky and a bit of road. Okay. And the same with that one. All right, then. Um, so would you like to set the car ready to pull off? And we're going to turn right out of the parking bay and right at the end of it. So we can go right out the parking bay here, Tony. <clears throat> and right at the end. I'm going to say you've joined this road already, so check the centre mirror and check the right mirror, see anyone's overtaking. Okay, that's it. Okay, now when you, when you get into a new road, you need to be able to ch you need to check the centre mirror. All right. Make sure you know who's there and how far behind. You need to check the right mirror, make sure that uh, you see who's uh, maybe overtaking. Uh, because um, if someone's really close behind, as you've seen the centre mirror, then you need to slow down, yeah. um, which gives, which will give um, the chap behind more time to slow to slow when you stop. And the consequence of that is they run into the back of you unless he unless he knows. So we've got a, a hazard ahead to so check the centre. Turn right. Gonna turn right at the end. So you check the centre mirror and your right mirror. Remember, on the right mirror you're looking for uh, people overtaking you. <clears throat> And now we're entering a new road here. So again, you check a centre mirror, you want to know who's behind and how far. Because it, you, because, and you check a right mirror as well, because you want to see if anyone overtaking. If anyone's uh, behind you very close, and you need to uh, slow down, otherwise the consequences are that they'll run into the back of you when you slow down a bit, or when you just put your, apply the brakes. And we're going to turn left. Going to turn left here, Tony. So uh, check your centre mirror, right, and your left mirror. <clears throat> so when you check in your centre mirror, to make again the same reason, you want to know who's behind and how far, because if they're close behind you need to slow down a bit more, otherwise uh, if, you, if, you, if you don't see them, you'll slow down and they'll run into the back of you, consequences are an accident and damage or uh, perhaps even an injury. You check in the left mirror as you go around, just do a check if there any See if there are any cyclists or even pedestrians on the curb uh, to make sure that uh, that they are. And you make sure you know that they are there um, because uh, you are going to turn right. Going to turn right, you're turning. So you check in your centre mirror and your right mirror. That's it. <clears throat> check in your centre mirror. <clears throat> you want to know who's behind and how far, so that. Um, You'll know to slow down if they're too close, because if you don't, they'll run into the back of you. There's the consequences. <clears throat> and your right mirror, you want to check because you may be being overtaken. Um, and uh, if you t if you turn across, uh, the person who's overtaking the car, you'll have an accident. Right, you're going to turn right. You're going to turn right. You're turning. So again, you check a centre mirror. Why? <clears throat> Sorry. You want to ch check a centre mirror. Why? Because <clears throat> oh, there's not anybody running in the back of me, do I? <clears throat> That's right. And your right mirror you're checking because? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Okay. You're checking your right mirror because you want to know if anyone's overtaking you. Because if they were overtaking you, you'd have to let them go. If you didn't let them go, um, you might carry on and they would uh, then be diverted into the, into the path of oncoming traffic. Mm -hmm. And the consequences are, well, you could have a collision, damage or injury. So it's important that uh, you do check, you do check that right mirror as well, and you react on what you see. <clears throat> so every time I check that interior mirror, yeah. and I see somebody <clears throat> behind me, I've got to slow down, yeah? Well, if they need to be close, if they're very close behind you, but it's important that you know that they are there, because, uh, <clears throat> well, you may have to take some sort of action to what you see in front, but you need to know where they are behind, either either very close right. or at a normal distance. Right, I've got a car behind me now <clears throat> who's pretty, pretty much sitting on the rear bumper here. Okay, so uh, shall I brake and slow right down? 
no, um, no, you, you would uh, just lift your foot off the, <coughs> that's lift your foot off the gas, you're going downhill, lift your foot off the gas, um, or if you, or if you're on the level, um, lift your foot off the gas and maybe... But he's still going to be close to me, he's only, only, uh, I mean, he hasn't dropped <coughs> back any further, has he? That's right, he'll still be close. If anything, he's getting closer to me now. So further, okay. He's closer to you, but that will still give him, give him, give uh, him time enough if you need to stop the car, and uh, he'll, he'll run into the back of you if you're going to. Oh, you mean that space. I need, I need to know what's happening in case that vehicle ahead of me does something. Uh, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in case you need to stop. Uh, for example, if, if that vehicle in front was uh, slowing down. Or if they in front and suddenly lights. stopped, you're going to turn right, you're turning. So again, check here, you know, which mirror you're checking, your... Oh, interior mirror, so yeah. I don't have an accident. Okay, and your right mirror. Uh, in case somebody's overtaken me. That's right, and if they were overtaken you, what would you do? Uh, I'd have to let them go, wouldn't I? Yes, because if you didn't let them go, you carried on at your speed. What would happen, do you think? Um, I might force them into an accident, wouldn't I? That's right. Also, you might have been involved, but uh, it's really important that you react on what you see and you sort of make judgments of what you see in the mirrors. And you're in the new road, so you check your centre mirror. All right. Why do you want to know what's in the centre mirror? Uh, to see if uh, anybody's too close behind me. Again, That's right, if they are too close behind you, then what do you do? Well, if I know they're too close behind me, uh, I suppose I could react if something happens ahead, isn't it? Yes, yes. I'd have to react earlier as possible, wouldn't I? That's right. If you're going quite you know, quicker than this and you're still the same distance behind, then uh, you, he will have less of a chance of stopping if you need to stop to some, for something in front. So and it's important. At the roundabout, we're going to be turning left. At the roundabout, we're going to go left turning. So which mirror do you check? Our interior mirror. Yes. And your left hand door mirror. Left hand door mirror, yeah. And while we're going around, if you can just explain again why you're checking those two mirrors. Oh, the interior mirror. So. Uh, I know if anybody's very close behind me. Yeah. And the left hand door mirror uh, for some, somebody who might go overtake me on the inside. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but also, you, you want to know, um, I mean, that's very good. You also need to know who's there and what so that you can um, time your signal to uh, where they are. For example, if you're. <coughs> I mean, we're talking about mirrors here, but you know. Yeah. I'm just checking out my shoulder there to make sure that car didn't move away. And we're going to turn left. Going to turn left, you're turning? No, interior mirror, left hand door. Yeah. Now we've got uh, cars on the left, parked on the left here, so you check your centre mirror and your right mirror, because you might be moving over that to the, to the right. And at the, after the last car, like this blue one, you want to go back onto the left. So you check a centre mirror and the left mirror. And what, you're checking a centre mirror to make sure you know who's behind you and how far they are behind you because um, if, you, if you don't know, they might be overtaking you and you need to know that. So uh, you will be able to react to it. Um, Sorry, I checked the left mirror, why? Oh, you checked the left mirror because uh, you've the last uh, car there might be just pulling away without signalling. So it's important that you know that. The consequences are, you know, if, if he's pulling away and you cross and you're just passing him, that uh, he will pull right into your path and you'll have a collision. So it's important that you do check that left mirror um, as you, well, the centre and the left mirror as you pass that final parked car on the left. So we've got this red, this maroon car here. So, which mirror are you going to check? No, oh, interior mirror. Yes, Andy. Uh, right hand door. What are you mirror. looking for in the right door okay, mirror? Okay, somebody's overtaken me. Yes. Now we're going to turn left. Okay, we're going to turn left. You're turning to check. Interior mirror. Left yeah. hand door mirror. That's right. <coughs> and we're going to find a place to stop on the left. We're going to find a place to stop on the left, you're turning. So, just after that. Last car back there, you want to check centre mirror and left mirror. Why would you check the left mirror again? I'll see if anybody's coming down the inside of me. Yes, and if they were coming down the inside of you, what would you do? Um, oh, I'd have to let them go, wouldn't I? Uh, that's right. But but also, if, if that last car was actually moving off, and you were just... Uh, you were 
well, you need to know if they were in, if they were going to move off. Uh, as you as you came up to them, if they uh, were just about to move off, what? you'd be able to see them. Yeah, and what would I do? Uh, well, what you need to do is slow down so that you don't have a collision. Because if you're right next to them and they start to switch off, you'll have to slow down. So that oh, so the consequence of not seeing them is that they they probably hit me, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that would be the consequences. So, reacting early. It's important that uh, you do check the mirrors as, you have, as we've practiced, as you practiced on the way here. Um, so it gives you a clear idea of what's happening behind you. It's good to know what's in front, but also you need to know what's behind. Um, it sort of completes the picture of uh, everything around the car that you need to know about. Right, so before we go into the brief, let's just let's just break it down into the two exercises before yeah. we go into the second one, yeah? Yeah. How did that feel in? A bit better. I got the I got some consequences in. We we I, had a really bad start to begin with that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, what was the um what was the bad start we had in I think at the first uh, T-junction... No, what was the bad start we had? Oh, the questioning. Yeah, what was wrong with the questioning? Uh, it wasn't appropriate. You had already done it. So I should have been asking you something which assumed that you could set them up. But uh, just how to use them. Yeah, I think it, um, if you look back at your videos from last week, I think you asked me that question as well. Mm. And what was the answer I gave you? What do you do... You've done this. What do you get me to do just before... We drive away. Uh, check your mirrors. No. What do you do before I start the engine? What do you tell me to do? Oh, um, get your get yourself set up. I do a lot of this and I do a lot of that and I do a lot of this. And what else do I do? You set up the mirrors. Right. So. So you're able to do it. You know, you're going to see that anyway, isn't you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. And um, yeah, and. and and you did watch me do that uh, very carefully, and yet, I, and yet I did play around, I did move around, and you mm. spotted it. Mm. But I just don't know why you come in with that question at the beginning, yeah? Yes, you're really um, nice. yeah. Yes, quite right. I, I just didn't put two and two together. So you're dealing with it, so obviously you know how to set them up. So I yeah, I mean, I'm dealing with it, and I, I actually pulled your backside out of the fire there, didn't I? Yes. But yes. I don't know if the SE, I think he's going to play around with you there, George. Yeah. Um, He's going to be wondering where you're coming from here, so he's just going to follow along with you, isn't he? Mm. It's going to be a long time sitting in the car park, isn't it? Yeah, it's too long. Yeah, and... Um, you know, what has he learned from that? At the end of it, nothing. Um, because you, you're you going to say to him, uh, eventually when you get around to say, OK, you know, set yourself up. Um, and have you set your mirrors up? And you're going to be thinking... Oh, yeah, I just spent ten minutes talking about that, and now he's uh, now he's just showing me he knows how to do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You you did commit with the consequences. Um, eventually, wasn't really the way I would have uh, uh, come out checking the middle mirror. Yeah, you check the middle mirror for um, any potential any potential change of speed or direction. Yeah. Um, because it, because it's a true picture, that's why you check it first, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you gave me the impression every time I check the mirror, if I see somebody behind me, I've got to slow down, yeah? Which is which is not really the case, yeah? I have to link that to what I can see ahead. So therefore, I need to know that if there is somebody close behind me, that I give them time to react, yeah? Because yes, Because yeah. that Jag was driving very close to me, wasn't it? He was, yeah. And um, I did actually slow down a bit. But, but I couldn't do it too much because he was too close to us. And he, he even got closer to me, didn't he? He did on the way down that hill, yeah. yes. Yeah, so we never touched on the question about this updating myself with the mirrors, did we? Frequency. Yeah, if you'd have asked yeah. me, um, mm. yeah, how often should I be checking the mirrors, you know, updating myself? I would have given you an answer. It would have been either the right answer or the wrong answer, yeah? Yes. Um... And that would have given you a chance to fill in the blanks, but as as the question was never asked, it never happened, yeah. Yeah. yeah? Also, also, I didn't I didn't mention blind spot. I think I should have mentioned blind spot um, because that's an area that doesn't cover 
not covered by your mirror or by what you can see norm uh, you know without a lot without some effort yeah you certainly sure. should be covering the frequencies and mirrors yeah yeah, um, yeah updating myself here yes right if you go from there onto the uh Now I don't need to get my sandwiches and my flask of coffee out for this, do I? Well, let's let's do it for a minute and then see. Okay, give me a minute to set this up. So, turn your mood. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay, where you go? Tony, now we do emergency stop. We've been here dealing with mirrors, um, but on this particular manoeuvre, yeah. uh, we won't be using mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really important because uh, you won't have time to use the mirrors. Uh, when it comes to an emergency stop, we're looking at preventing it, uh, so anticipating, in other words. So we're looking for signs on the road which will make help us anticipate that there might be a problem ahead, right? Which will which would mean that you wouldn't have to do an emergency stop. So we look at street signs, like this one here, sort of uh, children or school or um, where children play. And wherever children uh, play, the, especially young ones, are unpredictable. So it's important that you do respond. Again, might check your mirrors and slow your speed. You know, slow your speed. The same with this um, sort of conditions here, indicated by the sign here, like loose pebbles. Oh, yeah. Uh, loose pebbles, loose, loose uh, uh, ground... Uh, the road surface that's been damaged because if it's damaged you you won't have you would take longer to stop the car in yeah. emergency um this one here which indicates skidding you know put might put that up this is prone to ice on the road um so they put that up there um but wherever there might be skidding um loose salt.